Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. YouTube, Lumpus Post 1975, and you're probably thinking one of two things now after you saw that thumbnail and you read the title, which is, one, where did you get that sweet Muppet Show uh, cushion, or two, what the hell is a VTech movie go, Dave? Why do you have one, and why are you going to play Disney princesses? It's funny you should ask that. I picked this up from a charity shop this morning for £2. I picked it up for my niece, Maya, because she starts school very soon, and obviously anything that's an educational toy that aids with her learning to read, write, and, and count, amongst other things, improves hand-to-eye coordination, is, you know, is a good thing. However, if you thought I was passing up an opportunity to have a look at this bad boy and play some games, I say some, I've only got one cartridge, for this is a cartridge-based system, then, you know, you were kidding yourself. So, basically, uh, from what I can tell, it does come actually with the power supply units, but for the purpose of the first half of this video, I have put double A's in there. It is a beast. It does take four. It is a gobbler. Ergonomically, um, considering I've got adult hands and this is aimed for kids, it's really, really nice and comfortable. It does have a D-pad, which is absolutely pants, but think about what it does and who it's aimed at. 2.5 inch, I think, screen, MobiGo. Um, that is main menu question mark. I don't know. It doesn't seem to do anything in a fire button one fire button only that I have not used in the one game I have cartridge slot at the top then you have your power in there and this button here that at least when I pressed it did nothing for I have recorded the game game too strong a descriptive term I would say side of things you have a volume rocker it's the bottom and you have a headphone jack in there also underneath there you have a micro or mini, I forget which one it is, uh, USB connection, which you use to connect it to a PC. Because if you look on the back there, you will see that you can connect it to the PC and download more games. I'm actually quite stunned about that. I don't, I don't know what is in this. I know that it was released in 2010. And if you know anything about VTech, you'll know that there are a range of... Uh, electrical equipment and or somewhat computers aimed at young kids to teach them, you know, uh, literacy and numeracy skills, amongst other things. At least that's my understanding of them. So, and this uses something called MOM, uh, as in the American spelling, or as I like to call it, incorrect spelling, uh, MOM touchscreen um, technology, because it is a touchscreen. However, I've had to use uh, my 3DS stylus to play the one game in here that only has six events because my finger is well my fat adult finger is a bit much for the screen but I would say I think that's pretty much the quality of the screen it's built like a brick this it's absolutely built like a brick and you would expect that because of the market that it's aimed at kids which ultimately will destroy everything and inherit the earth here's something else that's really really cool so as limited as this game is which you will see um, it's obviously a full, I couldn't find anything about it other than 2010. I, I, I couldn't find a list of games or anything. Um, but look at that full QWERTY keyboard. Doesn't have a number row though, which throws me off constantly when we get to the typing section in the games. But yeah, uh, although I know, look, like, just realize you press that and I guess you get it on the screen or something. There is a one, two, three, and there is an enter. So the potential of this um, is quite is quite up there. Obviously. Uh, You'll see what the graphics are like. I already know what they're like because I shot this out of continuity. They weren't terrible, but I'd be very interested to know what is in this. So if anyone knows what's in this, by all means, let me know. Because I am generally curious about this as a piece of tech, even though, ultimately, I bought it to give to my niece. I also bought her one of these. Ah, Space Hoppers, Space Hoppers, Space Hoppers. Who remembers Space Hoppers? I'm telling you, right? Well, this one might be more beneficial to her, um, you know, scholastic abilities. I know which one I'm hoping she gets the most use out of. But yeah, so interesting bit of kit. By all means, people, there is your game, Disney Princesses. Apparently, it's only two princesses, but... 
So it goes in the slot there. It reminds me of a sidekick. Remember sidekicks? Goes in the top there. Satisfying uh, click. And there you go. That's basically the VTech MobiGo, of which I know nothing about. So let's jump into playing the first game. This video, obviously, I've marked this video for adults only. It's a piss take. It's a bit of fun. So, oh, hang on. I'll show you when I turn on. So, excuse me for being a cynical bastard, but hey. Can I get the screen? The screen. Ah, really quite nice. Now, if I if I hit that icon, right, that's the game. So you, even though you've put it in, you have to select it. If I hit that one, this is always mean it gets interesting. Free, as in free, not three. I mean, I'm half curious about whether or not I should see if I can connect this up to a computer. If only so I can download some games for my niece. But also, by the way, it's got big fat rubber pegs there for when you stand it up, which is a... Uh, quite cool but yeah we'll have a look at this even though you're going to see it anyway but yeah Tap your name to start. see what i mean screen's really nice sound quality is really 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 nice as well i'm going to repeat a lot of that once we get into the game anyway let's have a look at the game right so i've just powered it up vtech logo then it says mobigo touch learning system i'm using my um 3ds uh stylus here because if you just use your finger as pants so two options cartridge or downloaded game because this has a usb switch on it so usb socket a micro mini usb socket anyway uh, you have free V coins uh, as a growing up to connect Mobigo to the Learning Lodge Navigator and then use your V coins to download new games. See your user manual obsolete, obviously, because this is 11 years ago. Cartridge, Disney Princesses. We all like a little bit of Disney Princess action, don't we? That sounded terrible. Tap your name to start. This belongs to Jen Liz. I'm going to go as guest. I'm presuming Jen Liz is previous owner's name Disney doing anything they can for that sweet sweet China money <clears throat> welcome to the wonderful world of Disney princess so we've got options at the bottom which is music uh, okay okay yeah thank you screen's reasonably good right um so you are the Cinderella or Belle. So very specific Disney princesses. Level easy or difficult? We're going with easy. I haven't played any of these games. Oh look! I like that. Her animal friends have been so kind. She thinks she'll make them some new clothes. Half of what you're wearing is animal. Hey, I don't know what runs this, but graphically it's all right. I mean, it's not particularly demanding, is it? Right, skip. Shall we begin? Yeah, let's get this mouse some threads. Hmm. Alright. He's a skinny little bastard, look at him. Hey, so basically it's on or off. Points top left. When I say on or off, I know it's a kid's game, but it's like you can't basically lose. Um, so what was it? Three, three. Sorry, I'm talking over these great, great, great instructions. Time to sketch out the pattern. All right. So what do I do? <clears throat> so it's dot to dot. Oh, hang on. I thought I was doing it a bit well. Shall we begin? Yes, let's begin. Clearly it doesn't matter if you go outside the confines of the picture. Look at this. I'm a seamstress. Right. Anything else? Gus could use something new too. On it, what does Gus want? A fucking diet is what Gus wants. Four. Nicely done. I wouldn't be that happy if I was walking around in public with no trousers on. So what was it? Four? So obviously I know this is aimed at kids, but this will do nicely. Won't it just? Alright, where am I? Five. Oh, it mixes the numbers up! Well it starts. Thank you. I'm a practical ninja of a seamstress. Anyone else? Now something for one of the songbirds. I'm bored now. Especially when all the measurements are the same. Now we'll have to choose a fabric. Nicely 
Yes, right. it does. Is there a menu it's option? Just the right size. Are you sure you yes, want to I am sure. Yes. I've made quite enough money. Tap a game icon to enter the fixing jewelry for the ball. Oh, what's oh? Choose the level. Why am I fixing my evil sister's? Oh dear, Drusilla and Anastasia yeah. have broken all of their necklaces. You're fixing the jewelry of your evil stepsisters. The last time I checked my Disney lore, they were well the c word to us. Join Jacques and Gus as they. All right, Jacques and Gus. Like I said, it's nice graphics, but I don't know if this is like pre well, pre recorded, not pre rendered. I didn't do that, I was trying to curl it. Alright. As young as you might be if you buy this, I'm sure kids realise they're being patronised, surely. Thank you, here's some cheese. Bribery. Click the beads to get green. Red. I feel so much learned already. Green. Red. Green. Red. Now we just need to put all now we, the pieces back together. Now we just need a challenge. You just showed me. Oh, all right. You mixed it up. Shall we begin? Yes, let's begin. Nicely done. These were two red herrings, then. Right. May I have the next necklace, please? It's all blue. Are you kidding me? Ah. Well, no, because it's all blue. Nicely done. Right, let's see what another game's like. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. I am. I'm all jewelry out. The game icon to dancing at the royal ball. Choose the level, you easy. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, if I go on hard, how much more difficult is it to chuck a ball in a basket? A wonderful dream come true. I will say the sound quality is excellent. All right. Pretty low expectations in life there, love. While Cinderella dances with the prince. All right. Tap the music notes. So it's a rhythm game. Highlighted. Shall we begin? Tap oh, I missed one. Notes. I hope you can actually see this, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm obscuring the screen. Look at these sick moves. I meant them, not me. And I'm gonna try and stop thumping the screen. It's a very responsive screen from what I can feel. Like I'm not I'm not absolutely lamping it. It may be rubbish when you use your finger, but this is all coming out of good one. Oh. All that sweet, sweet jiving action. I've only got 12 points. Keep going. Go for the carbs. Oh, fireworks. Oh, I don't like this pressure. Remember the order of the arrows. Right, left. Right, left. Nicely done. It's not as difficult as I thought it would be. <laughs> All right. Here is the next sequence. Oh, that wasn't the next one. Right, left, right, perfect. Left, right. You don't have to say it again. You just told me I was right. It almost, Such a magic I almost went wrong. What's the next Go. game? Are you sure you want to exit? I am very much yes. sure of that fact. Tap a game icon to enchanted books. Missing letters. I thought it said. Oh, uh, never mind. Like <laughs> Easy. What are we doing then? The library is wonderful. I've heard the that. Enchantment on the castle must have done something to the books. Some of their letters are missing. Well, so it makes everyone else alive, but it removes the letters from your books. <clears throat> Odd enchantment. Right, there's a keyboard now. Join Bell and the servants to repair them. Use 
use the keyboard to type in the missing letter. Looks like, um, what are those phones? Sidekicks. I didn't press it. I was... Oh, no, we did. That's wrong. Whew. B. Full start. Nicely done. Thank you. How does this page look? I don't know. It's lucky I know because I can't see it because of the bloody... I'm lucky, my, lucky I know my alphabet, I think. I can't see because of your quill. Oh, look, too. Sweet combo Thank points there. Eh? Again, the sound on this is too pointy, but... The thing is... Uh, the reason I couldn't find R then, I was looking like a bit of a tard, is because there is no number row on here, so... <laughs> How does this page look? Easy is how it looks. W. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you, Chip. Again, where's Y? There we go. Y. Just put a number row in so I'm not confused. Right. Thank you. Yes. Which game would you like to play? Only two more. How much were these? Too bloody expensive springs to mind. Like to play. Easy. It's such a beautiful day. The beast and I should go feed the animals on the terrace. She's not talking about him, by the way, when she talks about the beast. <laughs> All right. Comic relief. Tipper, see, this is Disney. It's a woman patronizing a man because woman strong, man stupid. But oh, I didn't pay attention. Oh, there you go. Oh, you got to wait for it to stick his head out. Got ya. <clears throat> you weren't really that straightforward, were you? Yeah, but, he, but how long do I have to wait for the bird to show up? There are more animals over here. You're inviting vermin. What, so I tap where they just were? Nicely done. Okay. Oh, that one's different from the others. Find the smaller bird. Perfect. That is the smaller bird. Oh, I am so smart. S-M-R-T. <laughs> I wish it would speed up a little. I guess kids have got greater patience. Well, you would have thought they wouldn't have. Well done. Wonderful. Nicely done. Thank you. Oh, that one's different from the others. Find the shorter square. Perfect. That is the shorter square. Right, let's have a look at the last game. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. yes. Would you like to know more? Points for the quote. Tap a game up. Yes, let's. Count the shooting stars for Bell. Okay. What well, good can she not count? Shooting stars. I wonder how many there are. Count fifteen stars for Bell. Right. Well, what do I have to? One. Oh, I got you. Two. Oh, the challenge. I wonder how many of these are satellites coming back to Earth. Five. Six. Seven. Right. Sorry, I keep forgetting to put my stylus from the bottom so you can see the stunning visuals on offer here. Ten. Eleven. Ten. Ooh. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. This is a friggin' shower. I'd be inside. I've seen Day of the Triffids. So shooting stars. Alright. You know. No. Shall we begin? Yes. Alright. A circle. 
I skipped the instructions, didn't I? Well, that looks like a circle. I'm failing to see that myself. I thought it said oh, choose something that looks like a circle. Oh dear, I can't see that. Shall we begin? Yes, let's. A square. Bell sees something that looks like a square. Do you nicely done? See, that's a square. The other one was a circle that looked like a circle but didn't count. I'm confused. I've noticed. <gasps> Shooting stars. I wonder how many there are. Count 20 stars. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not counting 20. I'm assuming this is all the sure games. Yes. I am yes. sure. Can I turn a page? Which game would you like to play? No, nope, that's Every all the game games. It's not a massive amount, is it? Well, there you go. Disney princesses on the VTech Moby Go. So there we go, uh, the Disney Moby Go. Um, it seems like a, a somewhat, well, the possibility of potential seems to be quite good. You know, think about what it is for an educational toy. Um, but, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna win any awards for its graphics even, you know, in 2010. Um, but yeah, genuinely, uh, very intrigued about, you know, I'm gonna have a look around more for the potential of this device when it comes to actually how many games were available for it and what they all were, assuming they were all obviously educational. But I don't know, I'm just curious to see what, does anything actually push it? Re re well, push it, meaning I don't even know what's in this thing. So yeah, this video was just a complete and utter little bit of fun, because as I said, I bought this, Bought this for my niece, but there was no way I was passing up an opportunity to have a quick goof around with the one game I have. Anyway, as always, I would genuinely love to know what you think. If you know anything about this, if you've come across it in your travels, if you have kids, or they had one, or something like that. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.